Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your extended reading. What will each sign do for the cross watchers? So we're gonna do Aries through the Pisces again and we'll see what the next step is um, in this connection, what they're about to do. It's gonna be a bit of a speed read like the first one was, but hopefully there's something here that'll give you some hope and guidance. So let's kick it off with Aqua. Okay. Oh, sorry, Aries. Those that are dealing with an Aries, what's this Aries about to do? Okay, Aries wants to have a super, super um, important conversation with you. I feel like Aries is about to reach out um, and they want to come to some sort of agreement or they're ready to tell you something that's very important to them. So I feel like their their next step is them reaching out to you via message, a phone call, an email, a letter. They're going to talk to you about something that's very um very close to their heart so i feel like i see them opening up here um and i feel like they want you to know about this so it could even be like a secret or a confession that's coming forward but i see this going well and i feel like aries is going to be really happy with the way they've sort of dealt with this sort of thing um let's go to taurus now what's taurus going to do next okay taurus is falling in love i feel like the hierophant taurus is going to want to try lock things down i feel like there's either a proposal or like a conversation about marriage or having something traditional um they could also be doing something really really romantic for you and that's coming from a genuine place um but the keys makes me feel like they want to lock it down i also feel like they're going to show you that they have a lot of respect for you so they're about to do something that's super respectful super traditional super romantic and that is considerate of your connection and your situation. So um, they're going to put their best foot forward here. I feel like Taurus is going to come through. And I feel like they're doing something in the physical. So they're taking some sort of action here towards you. Okay, Gemini. To those that are dealing with a Gemini, what are they going to do next? Okay, this Gemini is potentially holding a secret here. I feel like with the High Priestess, I get them stalling a situation. They could be secretive. Um, there might be a Gemini sort of sneaking around and doing things. Um, I get that there's a Gemini here that's going to say something or do something that's sort of going to leave you hanging. And it's their way of sort of hooking you in, reeling you in. I also feel like there could be secretive behavior. So this Gemini might be doing things behind your back. Uh, might not being, uh, might be sort of breadcrumbing you. So I do feel like there's a Gemini who's sort of giving you either not mixed signals. I think they know what they're doing. Um, the High Priestess is very intelligent. But I feel like they're listening to their intuition and then giving you breadcrumbs is what I'm getting. So you're not getting a complete picture here. Um, they could be feeling things emotionally. I'm getting like a relationship pregnancy or something as well um, that's coming up. Let's have a look at the next sign, Cancer. What's Cancer going to do next? Okay. Cancer has a important conversation, something that they also want to share with you or talk to you about. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, Cancer is going to manipulate their words. I feel like it's through a message or a call. You know, the Queen of Swords is known for gossip. So I feel like Cancer is going to dabble in gossip either about you or about your relationship. Or they might confront you about something that they've heard about with you. Or they've heard about you. Um, but I feel like they're going to share that. So I feel like I see Cancer indulging in some gossip. And I feel like everything that they're saying might not be necessarily true. Because the Queen of Swords is really, really good at, you know saying things and taking them very lightly type thing like beating around the bush so i feel like there's there's a cancer that's being strategic maybe here but um time will tell okay leo's next move i feel like leo is about to put you on a pedestal here um i feel like leo is gonna have you're gonna have all of leo's attention and focus um i feel like they're gonna gift you something or do something super sweet that's going to show you that you are on their mind. I feel like it's coming from a place of affection. So they're going to do something that's super affectionate. Um, but I also feel like it's it's like an, a baby step towards huge commitment. So I feel like they're going to take a step forward here. They're going to do something in the physical, um, like look for homes, you know, look for rings, um, talk about moving in. Like it's good. I feel like they're ready to move forward. Okay, what's Virgo going to do next? Virgo, Eight of Swords, they're going to shut themselves out in a situation, maybe have an emotional meltdown here. Um, I feel like Virgo is going to become super, super anxious. And I feel like Virgo is about to sabotage some things. Um, it's coming from a place of fear and anxiety. And I feel like they're not going to handle a situation as best that they could. 
And I feel like they're going to sort of dig their own hole here. So I feel like Virgo's feeling like they're going to jeopardize things or sabotage things, um, especially with their words. They're also going to sort of pretend to not know or not see a situation. I feel like they're going to be blinded by their own sort of judgments about themselves. So I feel like some insecurities are popping up here. Libra, what's Libra going to do next? Okay, Libra is going to grow jealous about a situation and I feel like there's some sort of group thing or Libra is going to let other people, friends, family members, other people come in the way between you and a relationship. Um, I get that there might be an argument, so I feel like Libra is about to get super protective of your relationship, but I also feel like Libra is letting other people getting invo get involved. Like They're taking on all these different advice they don't really know what to do with themselves about the situation. So I feel like they're not handling it as 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 they could in a mature way. Um, I see Libra getting angry about a situation and like other people are involved. So it's a bit messy. Um, I feel like it's an argument of some kind that Libra wants to start. But I feel like someone else is in their ear about it. Mm, interesting. Let's look at Scorpio. What's Scorpio going to do next? Okay, Scorpio is going to make some long-term plans. I see a Scorpio up and leave. Um, or I see a, a Scorpio that is making long-term plans. Um, there could be one, there could be a Scorpio that relocates or a long-distance Scorpio that wants other things. Um, I definitely feel like there's a Scorpio here that's getting bored. So I feel like they're making long-term plans, hoping that you're going to be on board with them. But it's going to be more about what they want. Again, I'm seeing Scorpio dabbling in options here. So I feel like there might be a Scorpio that does some ghosting um, or there might be a Scorpio that is just sort of going to distance themselves and they might take a trip. They might see other people, you know, three of ones. They're figuring out what they want for the future here big time, like super seriously. Let's look at Sag. Okay, Sagittarius next step is the strength card. Okay, I feel like Sagittarius is going to really prove themselves. Uh, and I feel like Sagittarius is going to be there for your strength somehow. I feel like they're going to come forward and prove that they're an asset in your life. And I feel like a part of that is showing them, is showing you that they could be there for you. They can be strong. They can be there as your support network. Um, so I feel like they're showing up here in a, in a very profound way um, and telling you like where they're at and what they're feeling. But Overall, I think that there is a huge thing for them that's coming through that they're going to be super affectionate. So I feel like there might be a Scorpio here who's ready to take your relationship to the next level. They're ready to be intimate. Um, I feel like they're about to shower you with a lot of affection um, and they're going to really strengthen the relationship. I see Sagittarius stepping up big time. I do. Um, let's look at Capricorn. What's Capricorn about to do next? Okay, Capricorn, we've got the Ten of Cups, so I feel like there is a reunion. Um, this is a Happily Ever After card. There is a Capricorn that's going to introduce you to their children or their family, their parents, their friends. Capricorn wants to make you a part of their world. Um, I feel like it's something to do with the home. So there's an invitation for some of you like to move in with this Cappy to start a life, maybe have more kids. They are, you know, maybe wanting to work from home with you. They want to build an empire with you. I feel like this is the happily ever after card. So there is a Capricorn that wants to commit for long term. And I think this is coming through in the cards. So very, very beautiful. Okay, Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, okay, they're coming out with a Nine of Swords. So I feel like there might be an Aquarius that chooses to end a relationship um, or an Aquarius that still hasn't entirely gotten over an ending here. So I feel like their past is going to come back up for them um, or an ending, their recent ending that they're going to sort of open up to you about um, if they haven't already. I feel like they're going to do this. So showing parts of vulnerability here, yes. Um, but I feel like, again, Aquarius may shut down and sort of sabotage things on their own. Um, they don't want to be lonely, but then they're scared of commitment. It's such a super confused energy that they're in. They might be ending things, but I feel like it'll be temporary because they won't be able to be without you for too long, I don't think. They're going to struggle. Okay, Pisces. Pisces is fighting for a situation here. There's definitely a Pisces who's ready to fight 
for you to fight for a relationship or to sort out through some work and some drama. I feel like they're coming from a place of mental strength. So I'm seeing a Pisces that wants a new chapter, wants a new start and is going to fight tooth and nail for it. Um, I also feel like Pisces is overcoming insecurities. So I feel like what they're about to do is I see a Pisces cutting out addictions, other people things that no longer work for them. I feel like they're coming into a place where they're maturing and they're ready to get rid of that. Um, so that's really powerful. But I definitely get like Pisces is fighting for what they want in their life, um, including you. So really, really nice reading, everyone. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like and thank you for subscribing to a membership. I'm sure I'll catch you on here very soon for another extended read. Otherwise, take care and bye for now.